So today we have some news regarding the chipset on the upcoming Samsung Note 20 series and it is not all that good for the market with the Exynos chipset. We now have some information about the One UI 2.5. This is the latest upgrade to One UI and will be shipping with the Note 20 series. There should be some iterative upgrades and some new features in there, but you can tell by the code that some different chipsets are supported in the One UI 2.5, especially the Snapdragon 865 Plus. This is a brand new chipset from Qualcomm, which was just recently announced. The 865 Plus is a small upgrade to the 865. It is not a new chipset, but it is an overclocked chipset and so you should get some small performance boost from the Plus version. In fact, the Snapdragon 865 is the only mobile chipset that crosses the 3 GHz barrier in terms of clock speed in the GPU. That is certainly impressive. And what's more is that the 865 Plus does show up in the One UI 2.5 code. That is why leakers have put 2 and 2 together and are assuming that the 865 Plus will be used in the Note 20 series. Samsung only uses Snapdragon flagship chipset in their flagship products. So the Samsung Galaxy S20 series and the Note 20 series are getting them. There are not many phones by Samsung that would be getting this flagship chipset. There is a fan edition of the S20 that is planned for later on in the year, but the chipset is not yet confirmed. So it does seem like a fairly good news on that regard for the Note 20 phones, but really bad news for the Exynos markets today. We had all the rumors suggesting that Samsung would give us a brand new Exynos chipset in the Note 20 series, because the Exynos 990 does not perform well when compared to the Snapdragon chipset. Well, it looks like Samsung are still sticking with the same old Exynos chipset. That means absolutely no upgrade in regards to Exynos 990. This is obviously very disappointing news for a lot of Samsung fans in the Exynos market. This also leads me to believe that the rumors of the Snapdragon 865 Plus in Snapdragon markets is also a really strange move as it will further increase the gap between these two phones with different chipsets. Samsung could overclock and get more performance on the Exynos 990 just like Snapdragon are doing with the 865. Well, we don't know that for sure. So we'll just have to wait till further leaks or maybe even till the official launch on August 5th. If you stuck around till the end, I really hope that you can subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.